PK7! What's up with The Legend of Zelda? But the Nintendo Switch out and Breath of the Wild in stores, and never mentioning Zelda once throughout my channel, I feel I really need to make a Zelda video. So here it is. What's up with The Legend of Zelda? The Legend of Zelda is one of the most popular game series, probably right before Mario Brothers. But speaking of Mario, he seems to make a cameo in just about every main series Zelda game. I mean, the original Mario, Link to the Past, Mario, Majora's Mask, Mario. Speaking of which, this is the first game with Tingle in it. I won't talk about him too much, but here's a few Tingle facts. In, Wing in Wind Waker, he is actually quite greedy and evil. He even holds two men, David Jr. and Ankle, his brother, hostage to keep the island spinning. The first Zelda, released in 1886 for the NES, or Famicom if you live in Japan, if you like Twilight Princess but have played over, and over, and over, you might want to play Link's Crossbow Training for the Wii. Why? Because this game is a complete ripoff of Twilight Princess. Whether it's the music, enemies, design, bosses, is or what? However, it is a really good game. Um, I mean, I recommend you try it out. The controls are kind of wonky, though. For a good while, I could barely get a score of 40, but over time, I got the hang of it. In Phantom Hourglass, you have to come back to the same dungeon over and over again! Every time you come back to the start of the beginning, you need to clear the same puzzle over and over again. You do eventually you make it to a halfway point that saves your progress, but still, come on, Nintendo. Is it really necessary? If you want something different, then try Hyrule Warriors. It's all about turning Zelda characters into absolute warriors. Next, let's. I'm gonna have, I am gonna have nightmares tonight. Goodbye.